JT Woods are still have locked on Utes. There has been this constant rumor mill, almost constant rumor, the last eight months of, oh, Utah's going to leave the Big 12 to go to the Big 10. Oh, Kyle Whittingham doesn't want to be in the Big 12. Oh, they, you know, there was the talk when Whittingham was like, I don't know if we're playing BYU in three years. Expansion's crazy. Um, I've mentioned this moniker so many times, Crazy Uncle Kyle. And not a bad thing. Mike Gundy's the same freaking way. It's Crazy Uncle Mike. Is Utah a Big 12 team to stay, or is there always an open an open book there for the youth to try to jump ship? I think there's definitely a possibility that Utah could leave the conference oh, to answer gosh, the question. Dang it. No. I'm sorry, but if you would have asked people from Utah two years ago if they'd ever leave the Pac-12, they would have said no way. And then they left the Big 12. Like Kyle Whittingham, you called him crazy uncle Kyle. I got to defend my crazy uncle here a little bit. <laughs> I, I think there's some truth to what he says because the truth is we don't know what's going to happen in the college football. What if an opportunity becomes open in a super conference? I don't like super conferences. I already said that, but I do think Utah would be dumb based on the trend that college football is going towards to not try and jump on that ship. I just think it's the matter of the situation. And I think that's why if it does become available, that's where Utah should go. If it becomes, hey, some of the other biggest brands are being allowed into these conferences and Utah is an open invitation. They should try to get on one of the last lifeboats, just like they did when getting into the Big 12. I don't want that to happen. I hope Utah stays in the Big 12 at this point. But if we get to that point where we're going to get super conferences, then Utah is going to have to jump ship like that. I mean, they haven't even played an official snap in the Big 12 yet. So as excited as I am to be in the Big 12, you can't speak of Big 12 loyalty when you haven't even really been through anything yet if you're Utah. I just, you know, I get (laughs) it. I get it. BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, like they all, they all come in like, oh my gosh, so happy to be here. You've rescued me from the doldrums of college football. Happy to be here. I'm just keeping the facts. (laughs) And in Utah, it's like, I get it. You know, I do. I understand that Utah wants it knows its worth. Know yourself, know your worth. That Utah wants to be in the best spot possible moving forward in college athletics. I just don't, you know, I don't think Oklahoma State is saying, oh, we're keeping our options open here. We're, we're, we're at least keeping one eye open. Um, I, I think the commitment is to keep the Big 12 together. And for Utah, it is. Is the commitment to keep the Big 12 together or is the commitment to make sure Utah survives? And I, I think, look, look, there's an easy answer. There's an easy, I, I will answer it for you. It's to make sure Utah survives. I get it. I get it. You want to live. You don't want to be Washington State. But, but do you really feel like it's that realistic that Utah would not be a Big 12 team in the future that it should be on, that, that thought is on the table? I think that thought is definitely on the table that 10 years from now, Utah is not in the big 12. I definitely think that's a chance. I also want to push back on something you said, Drake, in some of your past jobs that you've had, you have been happy for stretches, right? True. And then you eventually left those jobs. So it would have been crazy for you back then to say, I would never leave this job or this position. Utah is happy in the Big 12 right now, but I can't come on here and say, with the title in the description that you have listed over here is, would Utah ever leave the Big 12? And the answer to that is yes, there is a strong possibility that Utah could, because none of us know exactly what's going to happen in the future of college football. So it's absolutely a possibility that Utah could leave the conference. I hope we stick with our four conferences I mean, crap, we already talked about the ACC and what a mess everything's shaping up to be over here. So who knows what the future looks like? I don't want super conferences. I already said that. But also, I have to live in the reality we're in right now and see more change could very well be coming. And that's what Kyle Whittingham said. You call him crazy for it. And maybe it won't come to fruition. But there's a really good chance it did because I never thought I'd be sitting here on Locked Out Big 12 talking about Utah as a Big 12 school. And here we are. True. I call him crazy Uncle Kyle in an endearing way. Like my crazy Uncle Kyle. Like every time he says something, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just my uncle. You actually have an Uncle Kyle? No, I don't. I, <laughs> Kyle Whittingham is like, he, that, that is, he's my now adopted. I have adopted hey, him. He rides, rides around on Harleys. He's, he's a cool uncle. As my uncle, right? He's, he, is, he has the Mike Gundy to him or the Data Holgerson of like, that guy's just, you know, this, this is a dude. Guy's just being a dude. Uh, the, the alliance that you did, the, the allegiance, that's the word, that Utah has the Big 12. Um, does it know a timeline? Like if the Big Ten calls next week and says, look, we need four teams in a package here. We need Pitt. We need Miami or we need Clemson. We need Florida State. We need Utah. We need Colorado. You, you got to say yes to that, right? 
I agree. I think you have to, because as I said, I just, yeah, I'm the locked on big 12 host. Like, let's be honest about it. Right. I think, I think the big 12 is doing everything they can. Even the things I don't disagree with. Like I, I don't love the naming rights thing, but they're trying to generate what? some extra couple million. And do are you a big fan of that? Why don't, why don't you like it? Because I just, in my personal opinion, there are some things I wouldn't put a dollar figure on. And I think your name is one of them. I would not put a dollar figure on the name of the conference. I think there should be pride in the name of the conference. Just like I got a lot. I, there was something to be said about playing in the Pac-12. There's something to be said about playing in the Big 12. I don't like saying the All-State 12. I just think that just shows that we're willing to do everything for money. And I understand in the world of college football, most things are for money. Name is just like the one thing. And I do not want that to stretch down to colleges where utah becomes utah um gatorade or something like some brand or, or name of that nature but to, before i throw it back to you because i can tell you're itching to get in mm-hmm. utah would be crazy to not go to the big 10 because the big 10 and the sec are clearly in the best position of the two conferences to remain at the forefront of college sports this sounds asinine it does <laughs> but it's what i'm about to say uh okay. it is effectively what we're staring down the barrel of someone offers you 50 million, 100 million in the Big 12's case, a billion plus dollars, and says, change your name from JT Wistersill to Trevor. Oh, I am buying the keychain that glows and says Trevor. Like, I can't wait to change my name to Trevor and never work a day, you know, or like just do whatever I want for the rest of my life. For the Big 12, if you get a billion dollars, two billion dollars, whatever it is, this private equity stake and a name change, that makes you so much more valuable. And makes Utah a lot of money. I just don't... People scream SEC. Recruits say, I want to play in the SEC. Nobody really screams Big 12. If it means that each of these schools makes $10 million extra a year, every two years, every three years, I think at that point, it's worth it. Okay, so a couple things. Number one, 50, you're right. $50 million for my name is yeah. an insane amount of money. But let's also go back to this. That's equating it to what I currently have now. $50 million would be more mm. than, I'll, I mean, crap, I'll ever make in my life, right? For Utah... 50 million isn't, isn't, it, it's big, but it's not like they will never see that in life. And also I'll say this, I don't think that Utah, based on the numbers I saw, I saw millions in the report, original report yeah, from Pete Tamer, sure, I saw it sure. would generate millions for school. So like- It would be you being extra, the big 12, less, less Utah, but yeah. you are the big 12. You're not just Utah, yeah, like, you're the big You're team. getting like, I'm, and I'm, yeah, you're just getting a couple, if you're being an individual, like as a member of the conference, like if I'm only getting a little bit of that, if I'm not getting a crazy amount of sum of money for that, that's where I don't think that, I I just I don't like the name change idea because it's not an earth shattering amount, only a couple million more. If it was 50 million more, I will say I'll go back on I'll go back on what I said a little bit. Everything has a price. If it's 50 million for me, I couldn't say no to that number. That's too much money. There's too much good I can do with it. But that's not what's been reported in this instance. And for a few more million, I don't think it justifies changing your name, especially when it doesn't change that much compared to the Big Ten and the SEC. Things will still be the same. This extra few million dollars will allow them to get a recruit or two extra. But I don't think it allows them to keep pace with the Big Ten and the SEC. who are only going to continue to have those amounts of money. I just don't think it's a big enough and drastic enough change to justify it for the Big 12 rather than for little old JT Wistersill. Speaking of JT Wistersill, where can folks find you? You guys can head over at Locked On Utes. Follow my personal handle at JT Wistersill on X. Talking all things Utah football, sports in general. Always fun, even in June, to talk about whatever sport was going on in the world of sports. As you said in the fan duel read, right, Drake? There's not a ton going on in the sports world right now, but still always a good time and always have a good time when and chop it up on here with you, my friends. So thank you for the invite. JT Wistersill, Locked On Utes. Drake Toll, Locked On Big 12. This has been and always will be. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Locked On. Thanks again for making it your first listen every single day. Dose Grande.